Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand, and we have had just a massive amount of very serious news lately. And every once in a while, it's fun to just geek out and actually look at what is going on within the comic book industry. Um, as long as it doesn't make you mad, because yeah, that, that happens about half the time anyways, right? So, this is actually really cool. There was a lot of DC news today. Like, a lot. There is more of um, the Dark Multiverse is coming. We're getting Crisis on Infinite Earth and even Metal. I don't know how they're going to do that. Um, but, um, okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm totally for it. Not only that, but Batman and Catwoman, finally, by Tom King, got a release date, which it is set for December, which is nearly a year after it was originally set, so it's very weird, but I'm assuming it all has to do with continuity and everything else, but it finally has a release date. We also got, um, you know, stuff about the general manager. It seems like it's being covered two weeks after it was released, which is really, really weird to me. But even so, I have quite possibly the best news of all, besides the fact that DC, you know, fifth generation has kind of been reimagined, and it's just in little one shots. (laughs) First one's going to be called uh, uh, Shattered, right? And it's just going to be these little stories since they've already paid for them. It's really not going to do much. Uh, Yeah, that's awesome. But the really, really good, awesome, I'm excited about news is the fact that we are going to talk and put Poison Ivy front and center. Poison Ivy is my favorite, by far, female DC comic ever, <laughs> character ever. Now, I love Harley Quinn. Um, she's, she's a, you know, two and then Talia and, and Selena, but, um, her, uh, you know, I, Ivy has always had this, um, her persona is very um, seductive, very sweet, very, um, she knows what she's saying, she's charismatic, She's she knows what to say in the right spot, she knows how to say it, she knows how to look. There was always stuff about Poison Ivy that I loved about her, because they were so completely opposite of me, like I would stub my toe and fall over, and Poison Ivy would just do a sweet smile, like that's not even a joke. So there's a lot of things that, that you know, drew me to her, um, you know, and now we are finally getting, um, well, we saw a, um, a kind of weird, like, twist to Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Um, you know, I, she had this weird doppelganger. They kind of, like, uh, molted together. And then we haven't seen much, right? We saw her, I think it was in one of the death metal ones. I remember it was, like, the only story by Vita Ayla that I've ever liked uh, because I had to do it with Poison Ivy. Well, she's coming back. She is coming back in a big way. Okay, well, we're not sure the way she's coming back, but we're getting her back in Joker War this tie-in, right? She will be back, um, and it looks like we got two preview pages, right? Two preview pages. Nothing, nothing significant. Doesn't mean a whole lot. It's the rumors that mean a whole lot. It looks like Poison Ivy, um... We'll have to pick a side in Joker War. It very, from what we're, you know, reading here, it seems like she's going to go evil. <laughs> Duh. It's Poison Ivy. I would hope so. But it looks like she is going to um, be, you know, huh, committed to this uh, powerful activist, right? Who kills when necessary, when angered, right? So it sounds like Poison Ivy. But we got a new name. <laughs> I was so mad when I read this at first because I was like, don't make it stupid, don't make it stupid, don't make it stupid or I'm going to be pissed. It's not stupid. It's really cool. So it's going to be Queen Ivy um, of, I can't say those words, also known as Devil's Ivy because it is almost impossible to kill and it stays green even when kept in the dark. How fucking cool does that sound? Like, that sounds awesome. I love every single little bit about it. Like, I I can't believe, I I feel like the last, you know, little bit of news we've had for a while with DC has been absolutely terrible. This 
is really cool. Like, I don't know how they're going to um, be representative of this, right? Because right now, Ivy's just kind of chillaxing. But it does look like there are rumors that a major Poison Ivy storyline um, outside of the main Batman book, maybe even its own comic for Ivy. Now, what I would love, and I do think this is probably um, me just being optimistic because Steven Stajak has since left DC, but originally there was um, supposed to be, if you've read the black label book, Harleen by Steven Stajak, written and uh, <laughs> drawn by him, you wouldn't know uh, the style I'm talking about here. That would be the most perfect way to reintroduce Ivy as if you're kind of trying to do like a rebirth of her, right? He would be the perfect, perfect choice when it came to that. Now, uh, unless it's already done, it's not going to happen, right? Unless the story would already be done, you know, you call it Pamela. Like, come on, it could be so cool. And by whatever happens at the end, she could be uh, Devil's Ivy. That's hot. Like, I love it so much. Um, but there's no way. So, I, I guess second choice to that would be, um, Amy Chu. She did, like, Amy Chu is really talented. And when she did, um, Poison Ivy, the cycle of life and death, which was a, a mini, mm, four years ago, 2016. Um, that is the last time Ivy's had her own story, right? Um, her own dedicated comic. And that story was so good. Um, I was going to review it because it's one of my favorites, but I didn't know people would be interested in a offshoot, you know, in the, in Batman's rogues gallery. But that story is still one of my favorite stories today. It's like top 10 for me. I love it's a different side, right? You see Ivy always as this eco terrorist. You see her as this kill all men, crazy ass bitch, but this side, you see, like, this motherly Ivy, and you're like, whoa, I didn't know Ivy had a uh, motherly, well, leaf in her body at all. So, she, she, you know, it's it's fucking perfect. I love everything about it. So, if Amy Chu were to come back, that would be awesome. I would love to see, oh, I don't remember her name. I'll put it up. But it's um, who did the Ivy and... Um, actual Harley comic that just came out last year, right? And the art, I would love to see done by her, right? I'm, like, picking my favorites here. I apologize. This has nothing to do with the news. I'm just telling you what I want. But, um, that would be awesome. She did, like, her Poison Ivy was so hot. Like, I loved it. Please. Or even Laura Braga. She would be good, too, right? So there's so many things. Oh, I just need to do a dedicated live stream to Poison Ivy because I could talk about it all day long. But Queen Ivy, right? Queen, queen Ivy, that's such a cool fucking name. Like, she is a queen. I don't know if it's going to have something to do with the doppelganger um, or not. But even so, like, we're going to get this new Queen Ivy. And I bet you. How much you want to bet? Okay, DC, listen right now. Come on. Come in closely. Here's what you need to do to make this a big money maker for you. Make her sexy. See? I just made you a million dollars. Like it really wasn't that hard. Give her some tickle bitties, make her sexy, and make leaves just in the right areas and make her seductive. All the things you've done from before. Don't make her a 12 year old boy that could pass off for She's not even like, like, okay, so you know how, um, at least when I was younger, you know, you would see two girls, like men, 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 men would see two girls kiss and they'd be like, that's hot. And now they see it and they're like, that's so SJW. Yeah. Bring it back. Use Ivy cause she's gay. Right. So bring it back to that's hot. You need to make it that's hot. Not, Ooh, is that boy or girl? You know, like it's really easy. I, you can do this. It's easy. Come on, bring it back. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about the new name, whether you like Queen Ivy or not. I absolutely love it. I love the idea of a new mini, even if it's not till next year. I can't fucking wait. Just please, please. Just, just I'm glad to see Orlando and some of those others are gone. If Tom King has this title, I am going to get my happy ass in a car drive to the airport and personally go to 
you know, DC's headquarters, wherever that's at. And I am going to sit out there and pick it like I belong to Black Lives Matter. Come on. Anyways, let me know, of course, what you guys think about this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey guys, I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon and subscribe stars. You guys literally make this channel possible. Huge thank you to Cage the Mick, Robert Mick Twiz, Black Knight Fool, Brucey, Chris Z, David L, David Rafford, Jeffrey Allen Carnes, Mighty Balls, Mike Buckner, Mizen Barbosa, Ruscar, Ryan Decker, Robert Hoffman, and Doc Holiday. You guys are absolutely amazing, and thank you so much for all your support. Don't forget on the way out to like as always if you enjoy the content and hit subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.